There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Time again for the Underdog Show, starring that champion of champions, Underdog. Sinister had gone back in time to get rid of Thanksgiving and the Thanksgiving Day Parade. And now, Sweet Polly and Underdog were using one of Simon's time bombs to chase him back in time. Oh, this time bomb just has to work. We've got to stop Simon from making the pilgrims and Indians enemies. The time bomb sent us back just the right way. We're back in time to the Pilgrims' Day. But... Why are the pilgrims staring at us so? Martians. Creatures from outer space. Save the children! Grab your muskets, men. All right, now, be making just one move and we'll open fire. Wait, you're making a mistake. We are your friends. They don't look like friends. I say shoot them. Hold on, men. You must not judge a book by its cover. If you two are friends, prove it. Do something to show your friendship. Name what you would have me do. I will prove we're friends to you. Our fishing boat. It's all full of holes. Now, what can you do about that? When friends are in need, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. It's like a miracle. It's bigger than the Mayflower. What other deed would you have me do to prove that we are friends to you? Well, we do need a meeting house. It's the biggest building I ever saw. It's ten stories tall. Amazing. Have him fix my house. Plow the field. Cut down the trees. Plow the schoolhouse. And while Underdog was busy proving to the pilgrims that he and Sweet Polly were their friends, where was Simon Bar Sinister? There's the Indian camp, Cad. You hide here with these weapons, and I shall go and stir up the Indian. How? How? Who are you? I am powerful medicine man for Mother Tribe. I come to tell you that you must fight pilgrims. They plan to attack you. Pilgrims are friends. Yeah, they were friends, but with my strong medicine, I can see the future. All big medicine men do big dance. Let us see you dance. <laughs> that heap good dance, but still not believe pilgrims will attack us. You'll have to believe me, because they're attacking right now. I said they're attacking now! I said they're attacking now! Hmm. Maybe you're right, Medicine Man. Pilgrims turn against us. They ruin our teepees. We attack Pilgrim Fort. <laughs> Put on your war paint, Braves. Man your bows and arrows. You're attacking the fort. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the fort, you have indeed proved your friendship. You have done many kind deeds for us. And now we must hurry, Underdog. Simon Bar Sinister must already be with the Indians. We can't let Simon have his way or he'll get rid of Thanksgiving Day. But it looked like...
black underdog was too late. The Indians were already charging on the Pilgrim Fort. What could underdog do? Was this the end of Thanksgiving? The answer lies ahead in our next exciting episode. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Two little Indians, no others near. Colonel, he vows these two soon disappear. Fighting the army blue soldiers galore. What can two Indians do? Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Here comes the Colonel with his sergeant. Both are roaring and a charging. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Colonel Kit Coyote had finally captured the Gopher Indians and was personally taking them out of Gopher Gulch to the reservation. Well, Sergeant, we've done a good job. The Gophers are on their way at last. They'll probably make me a general for this. What did he say? Him say you be general, all right. General disaster. <laughs> says clearly, no dumping dinners on colonels. I'll have you court-martialed. I'll... Uh, begging the colonel's pardon, but, uh, the Indians? Indians! Indians! After them! Charge! Oh, you think now colonel have dinner, he should have dessert? <laughs> we have fun. <laughs> there they go! After them! Gee, Colonel, I'd go slow if I were you. Slow? Slow? Nonsense! They're getting away! Charge! <laughs> See Daisy. <sighs> After them. After them. Looks like things got a little uh, out of hand. 
but the colonel should be on the right track by next week. You all be watching, yeah? Pump, Sergeant! Pump! territory. Did I tell you how I captured an entire Apache war party, single-handed? Party commander, I must be off to a party myself. Well, there I was, just riding along, singing a song. Beautiful voice. I was the original singing cowboy, don't you know? Oh, give me a home, where the buffalo roam, and the deer, when suddenly... Fighting them off as best I could. When I ran out of ammunition, I shot back their arrows with my trusty guitar. But I had been driven into a dead end canyon, trapped. And along the canyon rim, Indians everywhere. Beastly. Did you give up? Never. I burst into song. My powerful voice vibrations made the walls of the canyon tremble, crack, and... The Indians came tumbling down. Then I easily captured the entire war party. What a performance. You were the life of the party. Quite. were their enemies. <laughs> Our job is done, Cad. The Indians are attacking the pilgrims. Now there shall be no Thanksgiving feast. <laughs> and so there shall be no Thanksgiving. And that means there won't be any Thanksgiving Day parade. It'll just disappear. Exactly. And I shall be able to cross the street and make myself master of the city. When the time bomb is set. When it explodes, we will be back in the present. Come, Cad. We have just enough time to get to Main Street and push the buttons. <laughs> Up ahead on Main Street, the Thanksgiving Day Parade suddenly disappeared. Hear that, Ted? The parade is gone. My planes and tanks and soldiers will be coming any moment. And we'll cross the street and push the air raid siren button. And everyone will run inside the building, and I shall push the other button. And it'll lock every door in the city, and and the people won't be able to get out. And my army and I will take over the, the city. <laughs> but at that very moment, still back in 1621... <laughs> With my X-ray vision, a fire I'll light, and the pilgrims and Indians will stop their fight. A fire! It'll burn down our fort. Stop fighting and get some water. Fire! 
Fire burn them, Red Man Forest. Stop them, fight, and get water. This fire has shown you should not fight. You need each other to keep things right. But what about teepees full of holes from bullets? What about the damage that attack has done to our fort? There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. <laughs> Fort is more beautiful than ever. We have a new split level teepees. Let's have the Thanksgiving feast. Hey! Hooray! Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving feast! And at the very moment, Simon Bar Sinister had reached the middle of Main Street, and the Thanksgiving Day parade reappeared. <laughs> Through my buttons, I must push my buttons. But the parade swept Simon and Cad down the street, never to reach the siren button or the door locking button. And so, when Simon's three planes and three tanks and twelve soldiers appeared, they were easily captured, and Simon was the laughing stock of the city. <laughs> Look <at looking. laughs> Underdog and Sweet Polly used their time bomb to return to the present. And once more, people looked up into the sky and said, That's a plane! It's a boy! It's a frog! A frog? Not plane, nor bird, nor even frog. It's not even the law me, Underdog. <laughs> it's a balloon! 